Our eighth day of 18 and 2018 is going to cover swapping Gobo images in our fixture library with custom images of our own. If you've ever loaded a custom Gobo into your fixture and wanted the icons on the MA to reflect your Gobo, you're in the right place. As always, let's start with backing up our show and renaming it to reflect the day. If you don't have the show file, take a second to download it from the link in the YouTube description or at my website, consultrainer.com. There is one additional item that everyone will need to download today, and that is the Gobo bitmap that we'll use for practice. You already know that the libraries in the MA2 contain bitmaps for the stock Gobos for many fixtures on the market today. These images show up in the preset pool and in the programmer and layout views if you choose. However, if you load custom lithos into your real-life fixtures, the console won't have that information. But if you have digital images of your gobos, we can load those into our show file so that the thumbnails will reflect what we have in real life. First, let's look at where the gobo images can be accessed and changed. Press Setup and enter the Patch and Fixture schedule. Click Fixture Types. Here we want to click on the light whose gobos we wish to edit. Let's click the Vipers and then Edit. Now into Wheel Manager. Select Gobo 1 followed by Edit Row. Now you can see and edit the Gobo images on Wheel 1. The MA2 software has a file system full of Gobo images where these are stored. Right-click or encoder-click on any one of the image fields to open the folder tree. Now you could pick any image you want to associate with that slot in the unit. At this point, our custom image isn't here, so we need to load it, and it has to be loaded into this file system. For this example, we're going to load our Gobo into on PC using the Windows file system, but if you're on a console, you'll need to FTP to access the folder. I'm including a link with the instructions to do that in this article, along with a link to my favorite free FTP program, FileZilla. So, you should have the custom Gobo file somewhere accessible on your computer or thumb drive. We need to place it in the correct folder, so open your computer's hard drive and look for the Program Data folder. Please note that if you do not see the Program Data folder, your system may have it set as a hidden folder. The instructions to view it are slightly different depending on your OS, so I've included a link with simple instructions in my post. In the Program Data folder, we want MA Lighting Technologies. Select Grand MA, followed by the software version that we're using, 3.3.4. In here, find Gobos, and lastly, the User Gobos folder. I've got a couple of User Gobos already sitting in my folder, but yours may be empty. Now drop that downloaded Gobo image into this folder. If you have a different image to use, that's fine too. I'd recommend keeping the bitmap size small and square. 128 by 128 pixels works best. Now we can close the folder tree and move back to on PC. Let's say we want to change the Limbo Gobo to our custom Gobo. Right click on Limbo's file cell to open the selection window. Clicking this folder icon will take us to the top of the folder tree. We'll look now for the Gobo folder, followed by the User Gobos folder. Now you'll see our example Gobo file. Select it and click Open. There it is. You could also take a moment to rename this slot. Close all of the setup windows and make sure to save. Now take a look at your Gobo preset pool and you'll see that the icon for this slot has been updated and that update will follow anywhere you see Gobo icons in your show. That's it.